Hey, what's going on guys? So about a month ago or so, I did a video on VS Code extensions. I gave you 20 different extensions. We went through, I showed you what they did, and I got some, some good responses on that. So a lot of people told me that they found some stuff that they never heard of before, and now they use these extensions all the time. So I wanted to do the same thing in the browser. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 20 essential browser extensions, and I'm using Google Chrome, but for most of, if not all of these, there's also a Firefox add-on if you're a Firefox user. And then a lot of them also have um, plugins or add-ons for other browsers as well if you're using Edge or something like that. All right, and then there's a lot of different categories, so productivity, testing, uh, research, so if you wanna find information about a site and its layout, things like that. Um, and then just like like dark readers, just things that, that I think are really uh, really useful and that I use in my in my daily workflow. All right, so hopefully you find something that you can use and, and is helpful to you. So let's get started. All right, guys, so this list is not in any particular order and there's no ranking involved. I'm just gonna go through and show you what each one does. And all of these are free, uh, or at least have a free tier. I would never add a paid extension to any kind of list like this. I'm also leaving off extensions like the React and Redux Dev Tools, View Dev Tools, uh, Clockwork for Laravel, and any other framework-specific extensions because I want this list to be more of a general uh, just a, a general list of extensions, uh, although HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, obviously those are the, the core of front-end web development, so some extensions will be geared toward, toward that stuff. Now, the first few extensions really have to do with getting information from other websites or layouts. When I'm creating layouts, I like to use other sites for inspiration and ideas. Obviously, you never want to copy their code or anything like that, but you may want to know what, what a certain color is or what font they're using, things like that. So the first one we're gonna look at is Colorzilla, and this is a color picker and a gradient generator that you can use to get the color of any pixel on the web page. And this is great for web design because a lot of the time when you're creating layouts, we use other sites for inspiration and ideas. So if you see a color that you like, you can use Colorzilla to quickly get either the hex code or the RGB value, you can get it in different formats. And now you can even use it outside of the browser, which is really cool because you can get colors from other applications that are on your desktop, things like that. Um, you can even create gradients and save them to your, your library. So if, if you're creating UIs and layouts, this is definitely a must have. So what font is the, the, in the same realm as Colorzilla? You may see a font that you really like on a website and you wanna use, and instead of digging through the CSS files of that website, you can just click on this extension to find out which font is being used. So, so after you click the icon, you can just hover over any text on the page and it'll show you what that font is. Okay, and you can uh, also click on the text to get more information like the font size, line height, and color. Wappalyzer is a technology profiler that shows you which technologies are being used on a website. So if you're on a website and you're curious what it's built with, you can click on Wappalyzer and it'll show you the, those technologies. So for example, if we go to wordpress.org, we can see that it's built with WordPress, obviously, and it'll show you which programming languages are used, databases, web servers, frameworks, and more. So if we go to react.dev, you can see that it's built with Next.js. If we go to my site, traversymedia.com, it even shows that I'm using the Kajabi platform, which is a paid platform for e-commerce and video and also uses Ruby on Rails, Cloudinary for images, some JavaScript libraries and more. So it's a really cool way to just see what's going on under the hood of any website. Now the web developer extension is a very popular extension. It adds a, a toolbar with various tools and a lot of this stuff you can do with the standard dev tools in most browsers, but this adds a lot more granularity. So if you want to see like, um, you know, the cookies. So if you want to manage your cookies and sessions, you can do that from here. I like that you can quickly disable all JavaScript and CSS styles. You can disable the, the default browser styles. You can edit the CSS files directly in real time within an efficient layout. Um, you can do stuff like 
with forms, you can check all checkboxes or convert certain inputs to other types of inputs. You can remove validation, display form details, and a lot more. And then for images, you can disable them. You can make them full size. You can outline background images, display alt attributes, all kinds of stuff. And then you can quickly resize the window to a specific value. You can also validate your HTML, your CSS, your links, accessibility, and a lot more. So I think it's definitely worth having for any front-end developer. So Dark Reader is a popular extension that allows you to enable dark mode on any website. So it's, it, it's great for your eyes, for one thing, especially for someone like me. I, I get these eye floaters if I stare at white screens for too long. So I try to use dark mode wherever possible. But it's also good because you can do some testing and you can see what your, the layouts you're building, what they're going to look like in uh, a dark mode, in a darker layout. So definitely a must-have for me. So JSON Formatter is a simple extension that formats JSON data in a more readable way. So when you're working with APIs and you get a JSON response in the browser, it can be kind of hard to read if it's not formatted. So this extension will make it more readable. It'll add syntax highlighting. You can collapse and expand objects and arrays. So it's, it's a very simple extension, but also very useful. And you can still have the option to view the raw data without the formatting as well. So Session Buddy is a session manager that allows you to view, save, and restore your browser sessions. So if you have a bunch of tabs open and you want to save them for later, you can click on the Session Buddy icon and you can save them. You can also name the sessions, add notes, you can restore them at a later time. You can also import and export sessions. And I like to use this because I always have just tons and tons of tabs and windows open and I like to save them for later. I also like that you can just search through your sessions. So fake filler is a form filler that allows you to quickly fill out forms with fake data. So a lot of times when we're building applications where we need to fill out forms constantly and instead of just typing out everything, we can just click this icon and it will just fill out the forms for us with just some fake data. And it'll even, you know, for if for select lists, for example, it'll make a selection, it'll select radio and checkbox buttons and things like that. So it can be really, really helpful and make you more productive. Quick Source Viewer is a simple extension that allows you to view the source code of a web page in a much more in-depth an organized way than you know the default method in the browser so if you click the icon you'll see the source code in a new tab you can then click on any file and view it any file that is obviously accessible from the front end you can also search through the files and, and view the source code in tree view CSS viewer is a simple extension that allows you to view the CSS of any element on the web page. You can click on the CSS viewer icon, then hover over any element and it'll show you all the CSS. So you can also click on the element to see more information like the font size, font family, color, things like that. Um, you can also click on the CSS to copy it to your clipboard. So a lot of this stuff you can do without these extensions of course you could use the dev tools and you can see the css but this makes it just a lot more efficient and easier so user agent switcher allows you to quickly and easily switch between user agents so basically the the platform that is being used to view the website on so this is great for testing uh, how your site looks on different devices. You can click on the icon and then choose from a list of user agents. You can also add custom user agents and you can set up rules to automatically switch user agents based on the URL. So it's a, it's a really good thing to have to test responsive design. So VizBug is a design tool that allows you to make changes to a web page visually and you basically click on the icon and then click on any element to make changes and it gives you a nice little toolbar in the corner as well. So you can edit content locally from the regular dev tools but this is again makes it much more efficient and just a, a better way to do it. So you can change text, color, size, positions and a lot more and you can also add new elements, move elements around, delete things. You can also view the grid and the, and the spacing. It's a very powerful tool and it's great for, for making quick changes to a web page without having to do it in the code. 
So daily.dev is a news aggregator for, for developers. They have some of the best and most recent articles and tutorials, news and things like that from the web development world. And you can click on the daily.dev icon or just open a new tab and it'll show you all the latest articles. You can also search for specific, specific topics. Um, you can save articles for later. So I actually use this all the time to keep up to date with the latest news and trends in web development. And I've actually got quite a few video ideas from these as well. So LT Debug is a, a pretty advanced and in-depth debug and testing tool. Uh, I actually just found out about it recently, so I haven't used it too much, but you can do things like add and remove headers, block redirect requests, change user agents, throttle responses, you can manage cores. And just to give you an example, if we click on modify headers and give it a rule uh, or a rule name, a header name, and a value, and apply it to a URL and then save it, when you go to that URL, wherever you applied this, and open up the dev tools, you can see the header in the request. So this is very useful when you're testing your APIs and the information that you're sending to the server. Now, there's a, a list of all the rules that you created, and you can enable and disable them. So there's a lot of other features as well. Like I said, I, I pretty much just found out about this, but it seems to be a really powerful tool. So Check My Links is a link checker and allows you to quickly check all the links on a web page. You can just click on the, on the icon, and it'll show you all the valid links or the number of valid links, the valid redirecting links, the warnings, and the invalid links. And you can also copy the results in CSV format as well. So very simple, but very helpful. So Web Developer Checklist is a simple extension that gives you a checklist of things to do when developing a website. You can click on the icon and it will show you a list of things to check off. You can also add your own items. It's a nice way to make sure that you're not missing anything when you're developing a website. I actually do have a few errors, but in my defense, most of this has to do with the e-commerce and video platform that I'm using. Um, but it, it does help you catch things that you might have missed. So ClickUps is a project management tool that allows you to create tasks, lists, and boards. You can click on the icon and it'll show you all of your tasks. Um, there's a bunch of features like a notepad, email integration, you can do time tracking, screenshots, and a lot more. You do need to sign up to use it, but it's free and it's great for productivity. Checkbot is a website auditor that checks for SEO, speed, security, and more. You can click on the Checkbot icon and it'll show you a report of any issues. You can also view the report in a new tab. You can also export that report to a PDF file if you want. It's a useful tool for making sure your website is up to par or your client websites. And I get about an 80%, so there are some improvements that I can make. Again, a lot of this stuff goes back to the platform I'm using, just saying but it can be helpful, uh, especially for freelancers when you're creating lots of client websites and you wanna keep their SEO up. IE tab is an extension that allows you to view a web page in Internet Explorer. So this is great for testing how your site looks in older versions of IE, or I guess every IE version is, is older. Now I know many developers, including myself, don't really care about IE anymore because it's used so little, but if you're working on a project that requires it, then this is a great tool. You can click on the IE tab icon and it will open the current page in IE. You can also add custom URLs to open in Internet Explorer. You can set up exceptions and there's a bunch of different options, including the version of IE that you want to use. So Lorem Ipsum Generator is a simple extension that allows you to generate Lorem Ipsum text, which is just dummy text. You can click on the icon, it'll generate as many paragraphs as you want. Um, you can also generate lists, headings, and more, and you can set the length of the text that you want. So it's a very simple extension, but useful for testing and productivity, and it goes well with the fake, for, uh, fake filler extension. All right, guys, so that's it. Those are 20 browser extensions that I think are very helpful and productive for web development and just in general. And I hope that you found something that you like. If you have any extensions that you think should be on the list, let us know in the comments. I'm always looking for new tools to, tools to try out. But that's it. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you next time.